Lawrence. Here's Ivan and Miracle. They followed us down from, they was in trouble up there with Lou, I mean with uh, Bree and, and Dan. They got in trouble with Bree. She blamed them for getting into her goat treats. And you know, you know Ivan wouldn't do that. You know. Ivan is not guilty of reaching over in the back of somebody's mule and snatching treats. No, not Ivan. <laughs> hey, she ought to do better. Park out there amongst them and get off and walk away. It was like it was like a picnic, bringing a picnic to him. <laughs> anyway, I let the goats out, and we come on down here, and Ivan and Miracle come right along with us. Here he comes. Hey, bud. Papa loves you. I don't blame you. If they haul treats around, you should get them. It's your pasture, too. You ought to tell her that. Say, I was here first, Bree. It's my pasture. Poor baby. <laughs> Here's the goats in the little park. I'm going to name it Camp Morrow. I'm going to put a sign up down here. I'm going to come down uh, and trim some more limbs. Not today, but in a few days, bring my big chainsaw down. And then I'm going to bring my mower down and mow around it. It's just the area here that we're going to be using. Not the whole place. To mow the whole place, you need to bring the tractor. But I can bring my riding mower and mow this little stuff like this right here, around through these trees here. Cause this is, this this area right in here is what we're gonna use. And if we ever wanna come mow it all, we'll bring the tractor down and mow all that out through there. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit right in here. I may burn this pasture all out of here this winter after I clean it up a little bit. And I'm gonna trim out some of the little limbs trees right over there. And that's, that's about all I'm gonna do, plus mowing it. Bring my pit and stuff over here. Hey, bud. What do you find? What'd you find? Huh? You find something that looks like yours? Nah, that's a male. Look here. Right here. Is that what I got here? I love here comes that pig. You better hurry up. That pig's coming. Look at it. I told you. I told you, son. I told you. She's a pig. Yes, yeah. Oh, look at that dirt come off of you. Been rolling. How did it been rolling, baby? You just cook it high. That's how just cook it. There's some right on the ground. I'll give y'all some more to take the goats back, okay? Not right now. No, ma'am. Not gonna do it. Not no more right now. I'm gonna take the goats back, okay? All right, I love you. You know I love you. I love you too. Bad girl. Here I am. Here I am, okay? Papa's down here with you. Do not, do not start butting me, cause see, I'm down here loving you. I'm loving on you guys. Yeah, Papa's sitting down here with you. I'm not in my view. I'm sitting right here amongst you, okay? So we're not going to butt. We're not going to butt nobody, right? I even tell her. She's not going to be butting Papa. <laughs> oh, that's a big old sloppy kiss, I guarantee. People like them sloppy kisses. They would like that. Yes, they would. I do. I do love you. <laughs> I'm not, we're not going to play. We're not going to play that game. We're just going to love. We're just going to love. <laughs> we are, you know, I'm glad you ain't got homework. If you had homework, I'd be in trouble. I'd be in so much trouble if you had homework. You know it? Uh-uh. That's Papa's legs. Remember, we don't butt legs. <laughs> don't get on top of it. Yeah, right in my lap. She's right up in my lap here. <laughs> hey, Jake. <laughs> Hello, Jake. Let me sing to you, baby girl. 
<laughs> you just don't want to know. You just don't want to love, David. You just want to love. You just want to... Well, your love, if, if it's on your terms, your love on your terms. Nobody else. Same thing to you, baby girl. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess I'm just gonna be sitting here. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting here with this all day, I guess. We're gonna stay here all night like this. Alvin, what's wrong with the son? What's wrong with this girl? Right almost to my lap. You're in my lap. Hello, you're in my lap. I kiss you like that. You're a baby. You're not a baby no more. You're not a baby. You're not a baby. <laughs> You're mashing me. You're mashing me into, into my mule. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Here I'm gonna sit here. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, for get make you dizzy. I'm sorry. I'm underneath all this. Yeah, I'm underneath. Miracle. Come on, sweetie. <laughs> Look at me, I'm squashed. She got me stuck. I can't get up. I guess I'm stuck here all night. <laughs> I love her. Hey, what's wrong with her? Don't you don't you abandon me, Ivan? I'm still gonna go with the goats, Papa. Gotta go with the goats. I'll leave her with you. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm getting the worst end of this deal. I'm getting the worst end of this trick, this deal here. Oh, get my worm out. Get my worm up here. I'll just gonna scratch your back. Hey, hey, don't you think you need to go? Just, just go ahead and go, baby. You're about to go to sleep, buddy. You're about to go to sleep. You going to go to sleep? I love you. <laughs> I know you love me too, but this is just ridiculous here. I'm stuck between this mule here and her. I guess we just sit like we sit like this all day. You get night times you can looking for Papa. She'll say, Y'all gonna look for Papa oh, Jake said, I saw him. Him a miracle down there, hugging, hugging. <laughs> we down there hugging. Folks, I'm gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna have a heart to heart talk with her because the rest of us right now, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What cow, what cow has to hug and love on, on her daddy or her mama? Whatever you call me. Huh? Forever. Forever. When you become one's mama, like, like I did, it don't matter how you look. You don't gotta look like her. You always her mama. You always gonna be her mama. Right? Right, kid? I'm her mama. Her daddy, her papa, whatever. She's in my lap almost right now, folks. And I want to see if I can't get this camera down in a little bit. You can see. You can see she's almost in my lap. 
almost in my lap. <laughs> and I, the first time, the first time I saw this little thing, she did ride in my lap. But she wasn't this big then. Stop, miracle, please, please, baby, stop. You, look what you're doing to your papa. <laughs> Look what you're doing to Pawpaw, -paw, baby. Pawpaw, -paw. look what's happening to Pawpaw -paw here. <laughs> what are you doing? Folks, I'm going to probably make a video out of this. Just just, just me and her. It's going to be Miracle and Pawpaw. -paw. <laughs> I'm sorry if that made you dizzy. Do not blame me. That was her putting her head up all of a sudden. It's all of a sudden. So if you want to blame her for getting, oh, it made me dizzy, Pawpaw. -paw. It's her. It's not me. You know I'm a professional photographer. <laughs> yeah. But she is still learning. You still learning, baby? <laughs> I, I forgot the only thing I can do is go around and around. I can't. And I'm just kind of squished. I'm glad she's I'm glad she's friendly. Can you imagine if she had horns? Seriously? It would be dangerous because she just playing, stick one of them horns in you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could. If you don't hurry up, get off. I'm gonna make hamburger out of you. <laughs> yeah, you ain't worried about that, are you? I ain't worried about that, Papa. Here we sit. We can't even move. Fuck! <laughs> ah, you don't. I thought you was leaving. I thought you was going to leave. You thought you were going to leave me. I thought, wow, she's fixing to leave. <laughs> All right, now seriously, seriously, think about this for a second. Think about it. what. Think about what you're doing. Do you hear your pop off? Where's your, where's your ears? You're not listening. You're not listening to Papa. I'll bite you. Don't hurt. It don't hurt me, Papa. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Papa's stuck. Papa's stuck. I'm stuck with her. I'm stuck with Miracle. I can't even know. Oh, yeah, I see my goats. Okay. The goats, they're headed back up toward behind Jake's, but they're not going for Jake's food. They're going, I hope not. I wish Jake would feed earlier before I let mine out. I, he, they know I let them out in the evening late. I think they're going over to that oak tree and get acres. Uh, there's an oak tree where he puts his hay out every day, and there's lots of acres. I think that's where they're going. But when they leave for there, they're going to go up toward the barn. So I'll need to go and be up there. So if they're through back here and they get through that acre tree, I'll probably put them back in their pen. Uh, I try to let them out a couple of hours every evening if, if I can. So if I let them out too early, they'll end up going places they don't belong. But by letting them out, you know, 3.30 or 4 in the evening, like right now it's 4.30. They'll graze pretty fast. They know it's going to get dark here pretty soon. And they'll graze pretty fast, browse around, and get a full tummy. I mean, they get they get to f eat food, too. And they got hay. But this will give them some green stuff, you know, to browse on. And then as it gets toward dark, I'll... I'll put them up, or if they start wanting to wander around, I'll go ahead and put them back. Cause that means they're they're full. They just want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, they get in trouble. It's Johnny's fault. It's all Johnny. It's all Johnny. All right, are you leaving? Are you leaving? She's not leaving. I thought I thought she was leaving. She's not leaving. <laughs> Why don't we just leave? Why don't we just go away? Go with Ivan. Ivan going with the ghost. He going with the goats. You supposed to be happy. Oh, well, anyway. Anyway. Uh, once Dan gets the net fence up on the fence he's building, he's going to do it all the way around. 
They won't be able to get over where Jake. Well, they could too, I guess, on this backside, because Jake don't have net wire in the backside. Dan's gonna have net wire over where Jake feeds. Jake feeds right on top of that fence. And uh, I guess it's convenient. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. You gotta stop. You button pop on now. We're not gonna do the button. We're not gonna do the button, okay? No more button. <laughs> no more button. I'm serious. Oh, she finally. I had to get on to her. I said, you gotta stop this stuff. You can't just stay here, but. And she looked around and she saw Ivan had left. And so she says, you better go. I would be mad at her again. They'll be on a little lover spat. They'll be on a lover spat again. It'd be all kinds of trouble. Lo trouble in lover's paradise, whatever you call it. <laughs> anyway, uh, Hopefully I can put up a net fence down that side by Jake's eventually and, and all the way around Jake's and they can't go in there at all. And I can just let them out in the afternoons. I don't think I have to worry about them with them be going over behind the Lester's. And, but a lot of their temptation will be cut off once that saw fenced up. And that's gonna be a project I wanna start doing as soon as Dan gets through with all his fencing. I'm gonna to try to get some rolls of wire, net wire, and come down the side of Jake's pasture at, at uh, Jones mine, and then go into behind his where he got where he puts his hay in at the back. I'll, I'll show it to you one day. We'll drive it out. I think probably three or four rolls of wire would do it. I was, I was talking about putting cow panels up. I could do them easy by by myself. Just do a few a day, but they're so doggone expensive, so expensive. Let's see. Uh, I'll compare three or four rows of wire with that with the cost of, of enough cow panels to go down that side. We'll see how it works out. And that'll, that'll cut them off from a lot of that getting in trouble over there. Because there's plenty enough for them to browse back here, and it's easy enough. Ivan and all the cows are back here with them. Just come back here and browse around, get what they want. And I can work back here while they're back here with them. You know, I can come back and do a little bit of work every day back here while they're doing it. Now, as winter comes on, it's dark at 5.30. I'll have to let them out a little bit earlier and eat. It's maybe like 2.30 or something, you know. You give them a couple of good hours back here. All right, she's gone. I'm going to cut this off. And go catch up with Ivan and his people. All right, love you guys. Let's come back. He went up over the goats, made a circle to come back. He saw a miracle. She had done headed up over where the goats are, and you decided to come back. You trick it, ain't you? You're, you're a trickster. I love it. It don't hurt to trick one of them now and then. It don't hurt to trick a girl. <laughs> We're always tricking girls. Boys trick girls. Y'all ever noticed that? You girls, you ladies. When y'all was young, or younger, did boys ever trick you? Sure they did. That's that's what boys do. I'm getting it. Come around here. But anyway, I'm sorry, folks. I have some cookies. Yeah, boys, boys are notorious for doing dirty deeds, dirty tricks to girls. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't ever do that. No, I, you know, Papa didn't. I was listening, both of them big ears listening to what I'm saying. He said, well, that's what I do to Miracle, Papa. I tricked her. Well, what you did, Ivan, is okay. What Ivan does is okay. Yeah. Look at her. She's looking for Ivan. Look at her. She's, she's running looking for Ivan. I love it. Did y'all see her running? She's running up through there looking for Ivan because that's where he went. He come back. He circled around and come back. He come back around this way and up through here, right back here, and she went down through there looking for him. <laughs> I love it. Son, you're such a good trickster. I love it. You're so good at it. 
So let's go home, put the goats up, okay? Let's go do it. You can have some more cookies. So funny. She's up there looking for Ivy. He come back down here and got him some cookies. He made a big circle and come back. <laughs> I love it. Look at it. in the back of it and they saw it they went and attacked it by him hey they ain't got no more cookies so anyway I got them out of there Dan's got the fence almost all the way up over here so he'll put net fence go ahead and talk about this over here he'll put net fence all along here maybe maybe even cow fence I'm not sure along this fence here Then back along that fence that's going down through there, on around back up to his barn. That way his two calves will be in here and they can't get in with Jake's stuff. And the net fence here, they can't get out over here, or cow pounds, whichever, and they can't get over here. I think you're gonna maybe use cow pounds here because of Moses over here. Now, if I start right here at this post, and put net fence. It's cheaper than cow panels. It's a lot harder work, a lot more work. I'll need help doing it. But put cow panels, I mean, uh, net fence down this fence. So it takes several rows. It comes in 330 foot rows. Probably to here. I think one row would reach to here. The thing's pretty right here. Really good and tight. And I don't know how far another road would go in this direction. But that, that's a plan I've got. One of the other is the cow paddles. Another road to here. This ain't your brace here. And it's going to take at least one road across this back fence where Jake's out over there right now. From uh, Lester's corner over there along this fence line to this corner here to take at least at least a roll probably a roll and a half maybe even and that way the goats can come out in here and they still can't get into jakes they'll be out of jakes and uh then when lester fence ties on to here and goes to the river we can do the same thing with it putting that fence along it and that'll keep them from coming over at any at any point. They can't cross anyway. They'll be stuck on their side where they belong. And then I can probably come out and let them out with the eye of it and not. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's looking for a miracle now. <laughs> I love him. I love him. That's what he's looking for. Jake's closing the gate real fast. <laughs> ah, Jake closed the gate real fast. He saw Ivan coming. Anyway, he's coming to America. That's where he's coming. All right. So that's that's some plans in the future. That's wintertime work. Uh, and I'll keep my stuff over on this side here. Jake, Daniel have her stuff over there, Lester back on the back and on the side over there. And it should 
sobbing on. Hey, baby. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut this off. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button, share it with a friend, maybe. Uh, also, you might want to uh, subscribe if you haven't. Hope you do. I love you guys. Y'all take care and have a great day.